Thank you. Thank you for arriving. Thank you for being here safely. Oh, I love you so much. My big, massive box from Japan. Just when I needed you most, you arrived. Sponsored by Bai. More on that later. Hey everybody, my name is Quicken and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing a huge anime merch haul from Japan. I say anime merch as like an umbrella term, but I'm going to be unboxing some vintage t-shirts, some jewelry, some region locked specific items that you can only get in Japan and that are very very rare. I have been putting together a basically a massive wish list of my interests for the last month. This has all come together into this haul and I am super super excited to share with you today all of the things I got from the proxy service Bai from Japan. So quickly, if you've ever tried to order anything from Japan, obviously you need a Japanese address. So Bai works as that liaison for you. So you can buy things that you've been looking for, for example, on Japan Makari, Yahoo Japan, Amazon Japan, and much more. Then you can buy these items and have them sent to Bai's warehouse, which then sends them to you. I am super excited, crazy excited to get into this box. I bought used things, thrifted things, boy oh boy. And a big thank you to Bai for sponsoring this video, basically allowing me to curate this box to create this video for you, but I am super, super excited. I have been working on a collection as I build to create a new bookshelf, so you'll see a lot of those things as well, especially if you catch me on stream and you listen to my manga talk and my manga recommendations. I think you'll also be pleased with some of the things I grabbed. Along the way, I'll share some of my tips with you. Using Bai is pretty easy, pretty intuitive, but I've picked up some tips along the way, especially with this massive order. Also, I am wearing this like vintage jammies shirt because I am pretty sure there's stuff in here I want to change into. And on the listing they said it was freshly washed, so... Oh, I'm so happy! Oh well. It is filled to the brim. To the brim, to shreds, you say. Look at all that. Now that we've seen this, I'm going to put the box ooh, a little lower. I'll, I'll leave this flap for a visual. I have three of these green envelopes. I'm going to start with this one. Bye. So if these are the items from Makari Japan, which I closely associate with like American Craigslist, Although it could just be like American Makari, I've just never used Makari. I would have ordered this from Makari, Japan, and it would have been sent by a regular person to the Bai warehouse. So Bai, prob Bai repackaged it and put it in here. Design t shirt store graphic.com. Okay. Okay, so here is the first shirt I ordered and I am so excited for this. This is a The Promised Neverland t-shirt and what I really like is the design is super super unique. This is licensed. I know this like design t-shirt store kind of sounded like a print on demand, but this is licensed by Annie Plex. The back here has the different numbers of each of the kids. And then the front here has the three children and their names and their date of birth. I think that's so cool. In the States, like this reminds me of like a Uniqlo anime collab. And in the States, we did not get much Promise Neverland stuff outside of like a few, you know, like Hot Topic licensed stuff. I am a huge fan of the manga right now, say whatever about the anime. Um, right now I'm reading the manga and I am so into it. 
So I really wanted to get Promise Neverland merch, Promise Neverland stuff, and for me the shirt was super cool. I've never seen anything like it. Their number tattoos on their neck are in this gold glitter, and then you have their names at the bottom. To me this is kind of like a low-key anime shirt, which is what I'm going for. I want to be like, if you know, you know, and to me this is super cool. I've never seen anyone else with it. I am really happy with this. This is my second Bai haul video. The first one on my second channel was not sponsored, and if you want to see more, check out that video as well. Here is my next green envelope. Yes, I am so excited for this shirt. Yes! Okay, I should have spaced these up in editing, but I'm not going to. Look at this. This is just packaged by just you and me. We package this. I am so, so, so excited. Now, while you can find brand new items on Makari, just like the shirt I just showed you, which is clearly unworn, this is a used t-shirt. Check out this shirt. But this shirt says not for sale. This is a Promised Neverland manga t-shirt. This shirt, as the listing said, was given out for promotional material alongside of the manga. They also said the shirt was from 2016. The shirt is kind of beat up, kind of crazy. But for me, I am someone who is loving the manga right now. So to have a shirt that is the original manga design is something I absolutely wanted. Person in the listing said that they had not worn this shirt, but they were using it as decoration in their apartment. It was hung on their wall. So I love the wide fit. The shirt is not like perfect the print almost looks bootleg but that's exactly what i like and i got this for 13 dollars so perfect perfect price for something that is basically non-existent in the states and a promotional item that came out alongside with the manga if you're a fan that is something you're exactly looking for if you collect anime t-shirts this is a grail so i thought this was super cool i love the not for sale on the tag i wanted to change into this that was my plan. It smells clean. They said that they cleaned it. I'm gonna wear it. Oh my goodness, I am so happy. I was, I, I was looking forward to this. There are things in here that are worth so much and for this to be $13 and it was exactly what I wanted, perfect. Here is this, and this is a Vivian Westwood emblem necklace. And excuse me if that is not how the kids are saying it. This is my first experience. I recently started reading the manga Nana, and in Nana, um, the characters wear Vivian Westwood. They wear a ton of really cool, really stylish punk clothes. And although I know this is like super in trend right now, I did get it as an anime nerd and wow this is perfect this is exactly what i wanted the size of the emblem is exactly what i wanted i wanted one that was kind of small ish not one that was really huge and obvious obviously buying designer on a website like makari was kind of difficult to pick and choose and see what was authentic and what wasn't. I actually am a little bit worried about this. I chose this listing because in the picture it came in packaging with a certificate of authenticity and I'm not seeing any of that in this. It just came in this piece of cardboard. I did pay for extra insurance on this because it is a high-end piece of jewelry. Um, so I will be contacting customer support just to double check. To me, I really just wanted something from the Nana universe. So I won't be totally heartbroken if this is counterfeit, but um, it isn't looking like the listing. I hope it's real. This is the, this is my ideal perfect size. I didn't want one that was like really, really big. 
This one, I swear, I was researching forever and I just wanted one that was this big. Please be real. Oh my god, there's just so much more. So here is my next box. What could it be? <laughs> So on this box, it's a good example. You can see the original person had taped it and I did buy, I did pay extra myself to get the packages inspected and insured just in case it was a box like full of rocks. Not that I think it would be, but the insurance is only a small additional fee and what Bayi does is they open the box and, and inspect it and make sure everything is there. So you can see here that they have repackaged it after inspecting it. This says, thank you. I hope that something wonderful will come to you. Aw, maybe my necklace will be real. So this is another grail anime t-shirt. I call them rare, I call them vintage. If these buzzwords do not suit you, I understand. This is a Shonen Jump Music Festival t-shirt. On this t-shirt, it shows a variety of different Shonen Jump characters. Shonen Jump being weekly manga publication that a lot of your favorite manga and then shows come from. And this is just so cool, so unbelievable. It is a size small. This was really hard to find, to search for. And one thing I will recommend is if you are searching for something, translate your search subject into Japanese. For me, I found Shonen Jump Music Festival, went to Google Translate, translated it into Japanese, and I was able to find way more search results. This is a size small, a belly shirt for me, but this is such a special item to me. I feel like if I wear this, it's one of a kind. So this is, this Shonen Jump Music Festival is a music festival that happens in Japan and there's obviously a bunch of merch and accessories that are available only during this little festival. You can see on the back here, it says Jump Music Fest 2018. Life was more simple then. Then the front shows some of your favorite shonen characters playing musical instruments. I died. So here you have Deku playing a trumpet. Are you kidding me? I had to have this when I saw Emma. I think she's playing the clarinet or the bassoon. So cool. Here's Tanjiro. He is playing a violin and you could tell he is playing with his katana. Like, are you serious? I did pay $50 for this, but I think it is really, really one of a kind. And if you collect anime t-shirts and you're looking for something that no one else has, this was something really cool. Emma playing the clarinet, too cool. The seller also included a little bonus gift. Sometimes this happens, especially I feel on Bayi uh, Makari Japan. You will find a listing for things that come with bonus. You know, someone went, for example, to this music festival and bought a couple pieces of merch and wanted to dump them all at once. Um, so this t-shirt also came with a towel, I guess. This is a towel. Is this Luffy? I guess just like a little towel you would wear around your neck at the festival. That's pretty cool. Moving on. <laughs> And I believe I know what this is. Um, they're not Adidas. This is probably the seller's packaging. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Sailor Moon Skechers. These are the Sailor Moon Skechers, the chunky, chunky heel Sailor Moon Skechers. I am so excited. So these are a used item that I got off of Makari Japan and these were 50 US dollars. I'm super excited about these. If you don't know anything about these shoes, two years ago, Skechers had a collab with Sailor Moon and I believe these were exclusive 
perhaps to Taiwan, maybe some locations in Japan, but these definitely never came to the States, and if you wanted to buy them, you had to get them off eBay, usually over a hundred dollars. So now that it has been two, two and a half years, the scarcity, of, scarcity and the condition of these are very varied. I was able to find these used and in my size um, for $54. So originally these shoes came with two types of shoelaces. I don't see the second lace in here, um, but this is a used product. So that's what happens. I did, for my time looking around on Makari Japan, see a brand new Sailor Moon Skecher and a Sailor Mars Skechers as Skechers released all of the main girls. Um, I did see those, but these were my size. These are not my size. Hold on. It's me. Much later. These are a size 9. And I was so sad. Something must have went wrong because they shipped it in this other shoe box that is a six and a half, which is my shoe size. And these just are a size 9 somehow. Um, so I did contact Bai, um to let them know. If anything comes up, I will add it in the video and let you know what happens. If not, these are going on Depop. I will say, for transparency's sake, these, although these were $54 in practice, these actually were the most expensive item of this entire haul because their shipping was way more expensive than anything else. I'm assuming because of their weight. I don't recommend buying shoes off of Bai unless they are your absolute grail or you have a free shipping coupon because these were actually, despite being really affordable and something I jumped at right away, later the shipping on them was very, very expensive. The most expensive thing to ship in the lot. So unless you find your grail item in your size, I would skip getting the shoes. Hey everyone, it is editing quick in here. A quick update with the Sailor Moon Skechers. I contacted Bai and there is nothing they can do for me. I actually revisited my order and there are a few things I didn't get insurance on. And one of them is the pair of shoes I ordered. And I remember my thinking was, I don't really care if they get banged up in the shipping process, they're just sneakers. So I actually didn't get insurance for the sneakers and the Promise Neverland t-shirt. I figured that would be okay too. But everything else on my order I did get insurance for. The inspection and insurance is like three to six additional dollars per item you purchase. And I do recommend it. In my mind, I never thought in a million years that someone would send me just the absolute wrong size shoe. The girl who sent it, I'm assuming, maybe had kept it in that Adidas box and was selling it for a friend, so she thought it was a six and a half. But Bai can't offer me a refund because I didn't get the insurance and I didn't pay for inspection, so I guess Bai didn't open the box and double check that the shoes were the right size. So pay for, pay for insurance so you can get a refund in case this happens, pay for inspection so you can prevent this from happening. And like I said, I don't recommend ordering shoes because the shipping on the shoes was like twice the value of the shoes themselves. The only saving grace I would say is the shoes are very valuable in the United States. So I was able to sell them on my Instagram. I wasn't able to recoup the cost, but if you are buying something at least valuable like Sailor Moon Skechers and they might be wrong, at least buy something that in the States has some sort of resale value. Like the Promise Neverland shirt I got is has a high resale value in the States, you know, in case it was the wrong size or whatever. So that is my tip to you. No happy ending. Um, but at least, you know, I was a I can't get a refund on the shoes, but 
I was able to sell them really quickly. If you are new here, I have notorious bad luck, so one thing had to go wrong. Next! Okay, I am so excited for this. The, this is the very first thing I even ordered. Where do I even start? In Japan, it is pretty popular for different advertisings or popular franchises, different things that are happening. Pokemon, Demon Slayer, My Hero Academia. It is common that different places will have lotteries for you to buy in in order to get a special gift. For example, I don't exactly know where this lottery was from. This may have been a pop-up cafe or for example, a 7-Eleven. Let's say you were at a Pokemon themed pop-up cafe. You order a little Pikachu mac and cheese and you have the option of buying a lottery ticket, which would allow you to get certain items usually displayed in like a case. You get a lottery ticket and you can win A, B, C, D, or E prizes. Usually A being one of the best and these prizes are generally exclusive to the event. So if you have a Pokemon Cafe, the lottery prize you get is usually a Pokemon Cafe lottery item. I have a My Hero Academia set of all of the lottery winnings for I believe the E prize. And let's get really excited. A big shout out to my supporters on Kofi who helped me pay for this. You guys know, if you know, you know. The first thing we are going to unbox is this My Hero Academia cup. And this is the F prize for the My Hero Academia lottery. So this is a glass. It is a very small cup, a glass. And this is the F lottery prize. And it's, to me, it looks pretty good. It's by Bandai. Let's open it up. The glass is not broken. You guys are gonna freak. You guys are going to freak. This is a Hitoshi Shinso lottery glass. It is gorgeous. It is small. It is perfect for an orange juice. I hate consuming liquid. So this is the ideal glass for me. I'm not kidding. I hate drinking water. I'm going to die. This is gorgeous. Shinso stuff is impossible to get, even though he was like that dude in this arc. The previous arc, he was everything, and then, I don't know, they're just hanging out with Hawks now? So I'm thinking with the previous arc, there must have been a lot of My Hero Academia promotion, and this is the Shinso Cup. This is one of seven cups you could get if you got the lottery for Go and go, My Hero Academia. Ah! Next, we have a Shinso towel, and this is also a part of the lottery. This is prize G, and this is just a little hand washing towel. A lot of the public restrooms in Japan don't have paper towels, so you would have something like this in your pocket or your purse, and this is so cool. I'm opening it. These are all of the towels you could possibly win. It's a little more variety than the cup, but really, really cool. And here is our special guy. This, this is my favorite character this arc. He's so cool, but he does not have a lot of items. On my anime figure list, there are literally two figures you can get for him, and one of them is a Funko Pop. So this is really cool. So all of these I'm showing you were a part of a lot and the lot was $100. Next, and this is another lottery item from the My Hero Academia. Maybe it was a pop-up cafe, I don't know. I have no idea what this is. I didn't really understand what it was in the listing. Like I mentioned earlier, sometimes these listings list a bunch of stuff and yeah, you're paying for them, but they feel like a bonus because you can't buy the listing without them. These are, these are pretty cool. I guess these are also lottery items. It doesn't say. And then 
he is on here again, which is a nice little bonus. We don't have a uh, Ivy on here, who is my favorite character um, from class 1B. And he is on this one again, but this one is way cool. You got Froppy on there. I am so excited. I'm so excited for this. It's the reason I bought the listing. I'm happy with the bonus items. They're very cool. The glass is one of my favorite things, but this is our first figure of the haul, and this is a one-of-a-kind figure. My figure list has two listings for this character, a Funko Pop and this, this lottery figure. So of the figures you could get from the lottery, this is the E figure. That's the thing, you can just buy one listing and become an ultra fan of something. Now I have like all of his merch that exists. Hot Topic did come out with a shirt for him that I noticed um, like a, a few weeks ago. We were at a different Hot Topic, one we've never been to, and one of my subscribers worked there. They said, are you quiet kid, no doubt? And Justine was there and she was like, oh, they dropped the cool. You're not cool anymore. They do have a Hitoshi shirt there, um, but in my opinion, it's kind of blurry. Let me know how you feel. Here we go. Ah! The bag is like all popped from his spiky hair. Here he is. Wow, gorgeous young man. This is his stand. It is like this little clear, it like holds his foot in place right there. It is not too disruptive. Uh, it's fine. I wonder if he could stand without it. It took me a second to figure out how to put it on. There's no instructions. And then this little single little piece right here, this one little piece of wrapping, um, I had to put in his hand, he had like a little open spot in his hand. So this you could move around. This figure is quite delicate though. These little wrappings will move and bend. His hairline is a little scary. He kind of looks like he has a little cosplay wig on. But other than that, I love the details, the little, his high collar, his hair. The paint is a little poopy. A little outside of the lines right there is pretty obvious. Um, but this figure, one of a kind. Oops. Now I can display to you how to in how it goes in. I love the pose though. I love the action. His little hand. It's like he's reaching out to hold your hand, but he's actually not. He's busy. He's fighting. Really cool. You can see his eye bags, everything that is iconic about him. Because this is a prize figure and a low grade one at that, you know, some of the paint isn't great. A lot of it is out of the lines right here, a lot of overspray, but honestly, I really like it. Definitely comparable to my pop-up parade Deku, and honestly, I like the base. It's kind of nonchalant. If this is your boy, this is your figure. I think he's sick. Although I did see listings for him on eBay, American eBay, they did all ship from Japan and they were all over $100. So getting this with all the bonuses and it's still shipped from Japan and it came with all the cool stuff, I absolutely love it. I wanted that figure, so cool. Not to talk constantly, but I am redoing my back bookshelf to accommodate a newer lifestyle where I actually read books. And I want to build out my bookshelf to be very inviting and to like tell a story and be interactive. I know that's a tall order, but I did order the Demon Slayer manga box set. I believe it releases in September or October. So I really wanted to get some Demon Slayer stuff for my shelf. Quick, what does this say? Things in Japan are packaged so cute because I bet there aren't like people like FedEx who just like volley the packages and just punch them. <coughs> so this seller sent me some bonus stuff. This says, Japanese souvenir lovely for you. Absolutely it is. Um, I guess Demon Slayer buttons or pins. And then here is another one of those little like hand drying towels. And this is of our boy Zenitsu. I absolutely love him with the red hot intensity of a thousand suns. So this is super cute. There's Tanj for you. 
This was like already kind of open, so maybe homie just doesn't want this, which I love. Thanks for passing it along. I wonder, this one is like, this one feels sealed. Maybe not though. No, I think it's been open before, but I love that. And here's Nez. He didn't skimp us, he gave us the goods. Here is a Nezuko button and she's looking gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. These are pictures from the manga. She's crying, it's cold out. She's breathing her little smoke there. And the back of the button is one of these safety pin guys. I got Nendoroids. What are Nendoroids? Nendoroids are little figures from a brand called Good Smile Company. These figures range from 30 to $60 retail, but they are very, very collectible figures, but they're very animated figures. They come with different face plates. You can change their, their face, usually their, their emotion, their position, and they're pretty fun to photograph because you can animate them so well. Tanjiro, Nezuko, and my boy Zenitsu. I am missing, I am missing a Nosuke, which will probably down the line be really difficult to get, but I saw this listing for all three of them for about $150. That is very good to me. I believe these are all real. The seller said they bought them directly from the store that these are sold at in Japan. At a toy store? I don't know. Actually, I believe the seller said he got them from Shonen Jump, which is a store? I That's great. Now, one thing I will say about Nendoroids that is fun and challenging is sometimes two Nendoroids will complement one another. If you caught my live stream the other day, I wanted a Norman and Emma Nendoroid. And if you get both of them, they come with an accessory that makes them hold hands but you'll have to find both of them. So Tanjiro and Nezuko have a complementary accessory that joins both characters together in a similar way. And you'll find that very often with um, different Nendoroids. Here is my Tanj, my Tanjiro. I have accidentally bought a counterfeit Nendoroid in the past. I bought a Luigi Nendoroid from eBay for like $20, not realizing that Nendoroids generally go for about 60 and up. It looks like he comes with the ability to be like, yeah, and then he does his water technique and he can also, he can also 360. That's sick. We'll check that out. Next, I have Nezuko and I thought it will be so much harder to find a Nezuko Nendoroid. I don't exactly know when the pre-order period for this Nezuko was, but I am very excited to have her. I didn't know if I wanted a ton of Nendroids in my collection, but they are just so cute and, you know, they're just such a guarantee, you know you're getting a certain level of quality. So, here is my Nezuko. Here she is. Like I said, Nezuko came with a complimentary accessory that you need the Tanjiro to use. And one of those things is holding hands, a really common thing with Nendoroids, and it keeps me up at night. But we have holding hands, and then Nezuko's box can be worn by the Tanjiro figure. I guess you could make Nezuko hold her own box, but that's kind of twisted. I hope to display them with my manga in a way that is fun and creative. Next, I have Zenitsu, who is my favorite character in the series. I have rewatched Demon Slayer, and I stand by what I say. So here is, here's my boy. The condition of the box is beautiful. I would say the resale value, as long as I do a really good job taking care of this, is all there. No crunch or munch on this box. Um, he is just an adorable little baby. His accessories are his sparrow, his swords, he can do his thunder technique and he has an accessory for that and he also has these. Yes. Just taking a peek, the paint job on his sparrow is a little sus but I'm pretty positive these are authentic. Um, just a quick look at them, everything seems to be okay but these are super gorgeous. Can't wait to set them up. What's cool is my Chica Nendoroid that I won from round one says sales outside of Japan only and my Nendoroids don't say that. So that's kind of cool. And girl, what a wild ride it has been. Up 
ups, downs, size nines, missing jewelry boxes, but we are at our last item. Can you believe it? I am so excited. This, even this box is so fun. Sh Segura, yeah, let's go. Maybe you can guess what this is. And this makes me seem like a fanatic, but I am super, super excited to show you these prize figures. Yes, is that Norman? These are the promised Neverland prize figures. And who are these by Sega? These are Sega prize figures, and this is of Norman. You can see him here. So a prize figure in Japan, you can go to an arcade and these are figures that you would win in a claw machine. It is really popular and a lot of people on Bai will go to arcades who are really good at them and they'll win a ton of prizes and then they will list them on Makari to sell. This is Norman. I did see a listing for this pre-owned very inexpensively, but it didn't come with the mug. We need the mug. The listing for all three of the characters on Bayi was a little over $100. I believe I found a listing for all three of them, brand new in box, unopened, for $113. It was not super important to me to get them brand new in box. I would have bought them used, I would have bought them out of box, um, because I am displaying them on my manga shelf and reading The Promised Neverland has been a pleasure. So I did want something just cute for my bookshelf. So it wasn't super important to me getting them in box. However, getting all three of them in box as a collection was a listing that I did keep seeing over and over. Like I said, if I would have got all three of them separate outside of a listing, even if it was a little less expensive, like I saw an Emma listed for like $20. So if I got all three of them for $20, it would equal $60. But all three of them also have to be shipped to the Bayi warehouse and that's where the prices start to add up. So this is the best way to go if you're trying to get a collection. Look for a seller who's selling all three of the item. Especially like with my Demon Slayers, all three of them. So this is Emma, and you might notice they're all sitting on these chairs. So, like with our other figures, if you get all three of these figures, you can combine the chairs together and uh, make a sofa, girl. My last figure is Ray. So the Promised Neverland Nendoroids, like I mentioned earlier, are really, really, really cute, really special. The Emma is getting more rare in the secondhand market. She alone is up there almost $200. Um, but the Norman is not as collectible. You can get him for basically retail. His value has not gone up. However, the Norman character has the can phone, like a tin can with a string and it's a phone. So you need both of them to act out that iconic scene. So that made my heart explode, except there is no Ray Nendoroid. So I, I, I think he's an important character. So I didn't want to not have him. Here is the Ray and he has a little bit of poopy on him. He is holding a book. And you can see on the back of this box, it shows them all together on the couch. Really, really, really cute. These are factory sealed, um, not messed up at all. If you were collecting with the intention of one day reselling, this is also the best way to go because now you have the boxes. Wow, it is hot in here because my microphone only picks up the sound of my air conditioning, so I am going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much. I know this was a long video. Please give it a like and definitely check out Bayi using the link down below. If you like videos like this, if you want to see me work with Bayi again, do take the time to go down below and click the link. 
And if you want an updated anime t-shirt collection, definitely comment Hee Haw in the comments below. If we can get 100 Hee Haws, then I will gladly make an updated anime t-shirt video. If you'd like to check out my old one, it'll be linked down below. A big thank you to Bai, a big thank you to my supporters on Coffee, and I love you guys so much. Let me know what your favorite thing was, a lot of things here. If you're a size 9 and you need Sailor Moon Skechers, hit me up. I love you so much, and until next time, adieu. Goodbye. Follow me on socials. See ya.